Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul. It's a great honor to be connecting with you today. It is the 13th day of November. My, how time is flying. In one week, I'll be up in Toronto with my spiritual teacher, Master Shah. And he is the one, who, of course, who I give credit to for the wisdoms, like the wisdom you'll be hearing today. The wisdom is called the miracle of love. And just before I clicked on this uh, live stream link to go live, I was connecting, connecting with the divine, receiving great wisdom, uh, some of which will be shared today on the nature, power, and significance of the miracle of love. Some of it will be obvious, some of it not so much, and a great deal of it. Uh, what we fail to acknowledge and see so stick around I encourage you to stay as long as you can uh, my live streams typically are scheduled for an hour we'll just see how long it takes <clears throat> um, if you can't please like and subscribe and you'll be notified when I go live as well as uh, be able to access my pages where you can always watch the recordings also you can go to my youtube channel which my uh, assistant, Kristen, has been assisting me with posting many, many, many of my last year or two of Facebook videos onto YouTube. So there is a constant uh, series of teachings there if you want to play catch up a little bit. So let's check in and see who's joined us. Welcome, Kristen. Aloha, Dove. <coughs> Welcome, Amy Hugerick. Welcome also, Susan Birchmore. Aloha. Welcome, Monica. Welcome, uh, G. Martin Ose. Thank you all for coming. Welcome also to Vanessa and welcome Dan Bustamante. Thank you also Victor for your presence and thank you all for clicking on the share button to let other people know about today's live stream. There is not a single person in humanity that cannot benefit from love but there are a tremendous amount of people that are unfamiliar with the different ways in which it shows its face. Uh, it is literally infused in all life in everything but because we humanity um, do not have open hearts is really what it boils down to we are unable to align ourselves to acknowledge the love that literally permeates the air so we'll talk a little bit more about that today as we go welcome Adelia welcome Jota welcome Shelly Davis welcome also to Lisa Bradley Thank you for coming today. It will be a very powerful wisdom teaching and hopefully a powerful blessing. So uh, while <clears throat> gathering a few more, I'll talk a little bit about some things that you should be taking advantage of to make sure that you make notes. Kristen will also post uh, the links. Um, but Dr. and Master Shah, whose wisdom I have been espousing for the last years, um, is the deliverer of a singular message uh, heal the soul first and the mind and body follows how do you heal the soul first love love melts all blockages another one sentence secret that he brings today I'll be focusing a bit more on that <clears throat> and so he has uh, to move that wisdom forward been offering every day now for the last uh, 10 days love meditation they are truly extraordinary now some people think of a meditation as sit down uh, total silence that's not master Shah's love meditations his love meditations works with love fields Tao Chong fields and Tao is the source Chong is field so a love energy field now I have been very blessed to have very awakened spiritual channels and I can feel energy through my physical presence <clears throat> and I tell you, as soon as I turn that on, I am surrounded by a high frequency energy field. Some of you may not be able to have that uh, ability to feel that or ascertain that there is actually a field there. But trust me when I tell you, <laughs> it's very much there. And so Master Shah then continues to offer various wisdom and blessings throughout the entire 15-20 minute meditation. Lately, he's also been offering a follow-up immediately afterwards where he does uh, love art and he shares a little bit about uh, Tao source calligraphy uh, and then 
offers blessings with it and gives you opportunity to uh, to follow the movement of the lines of the Ibitsu oneness calligraphy truly remarkable welcome also to Lisa uh, welcome Jana welcome Trina Jeffries welcome Dean Willis thank you all for joining <clears throat> thank you for hitting the share button letting other people know about today and so uh, I do encourage you to to go to Dr. Master Shah Facebook page and you just go into the search bar on Facebook and type in DR Dr. and Master Shah and uh, his page will pop right up <clears throat> and then go there and watch any of the recorded videos I tell you uh, it is way 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 beyond uh, your your understanding you watch again and again you could get extraordinary healing just watching welcome Jenny Danielle uh, uh, welcome also talks welcome Gloria Yvonne so in a short bit here we're gonna go ahead and move straight into uh, the miracle of love the, this is the title that I received last night when I posted I uh, heaven what would you like to talk about I hear the words miracle of love okay I have no idea what I'm gonna say when I get to today and then about uh, five minutes before this started I said okay heaven please give me the information that you wish me to share today and I get received lots of lots of insights my crown chakra lit up I'm getting all kinds of information to share so welcome also to Erica welcome uh, Gloria Yvonne welcome also to Rosetta thank you all for your presence thank you uh, for clicking on the share button letting other people know about today <coughs> excuse me so let us connect first and set the energy field bring the love in right Placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, we drop the left hand in front of the heart, center the right hand, relaxes, remains in a prayer position pointed towards heaven. This brings, it's called a hand mudra position, and it brings heaven into our heart center. <coughs> Excuse me. Close your eyes, and let me assist in calling forth all the beings of light. Dear our beloved divine creator, all the beings of light serving the planet of the light side, including the angels and healing angels the archangels all of the masters ascended masters all of the lama sifus gurus saints buddhas and more beloved jesus and mother mary and more beings of light the soul of blood mother earth the sun and the moon we love you we honor you respect you we deeply appreciate your love and your unconditional service we ask you most humbly and sincerely for your presence today to guide this wisdom to guide the heart opening and guide any blessings that may be offered to assist each and every one of us to further open and develop our love we are extremely grateful thank you thank you thank you dear the song of love peace and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes we love you honor you deeply appreciate you we invite all souls in all universes to chant love peace and harmony with us at this time for those that are new this is a mantra it has been translated in over 40 languages and I chant it as part of my live stream to connect us heart to heart soul to soul <clears throat> and to set the energy field of love so you may re close your eyes and receive if you're new it is a blessing and if you'd like to join, please do so. Let us begin. Lula, lula, li, lula, lula, la, li, lula, lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula. Wo I wash in Harling Wo I Tsan and Lay Ung Ling Rung Her Musher Shung Shung I Ping on a She Shung I Ping on a She I love my heart and soul I love all humanity join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony how 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 thank you thank you thank you so thank you all for coming thank you for your desire 
to understand more about the miracle of love, be a part of the miracle of love, and make a difference. So in receiving this guidance for this live stream last night, I was not really sure about the direction that heaven wanted to offer with this. And as I did a flow before I started this live stream, I received some very, uh, very big insights. The uh, first being that literally, literally, everything is radiating love. So that means the breath of air, breathe in, everybody breathe in. So that breath of air contained countless molecules, countless atoms, countless energy and matter. That breath ended, and that breath in is countless. So that's, that means more than 10 million, right? 10 billion. 10 billion specks of energy and matter. And each single one of those carries the original creator love frequency. I want you to just really ponder that for a minute, because this is what Heaven told me just, just before we started this. Heaven said, there is not a single thing in all creation that is not 100% of the time radiating pure creator love. I'd call that a miracle. I don't know about you guys. Because it's just the comprehension of that is truly miraculous. When we start to recognize and remain in the place of recognition, that love is radiating from everything. You're watching me through a computer screen. You're sitting on a chair. Everything is radiating love. The chair is radiating love. The computer screen is radiating love. How is that possible? You know, I'm a human being and it's an inanimate object. How can it be radiating love? Well, where, where did it come from? Who created it? What was the original source of all creation? Source, creator, God, whatever name you have for it. Source, creator, God, whatever name you use, is 100% pure love, unconditional love. What is unconditional love? It is a love that asks for nothing in return. It is a love that is endless. It pours freely, purely, no conditions whatsoever. It's the kind of love that if Hitler did something, the love would still come to that soul. That's the kind of love it is. It's the kind of love that no matter how dark something is, there is still pure love radiating towards it because that is the highest unconditional love. Source creator is everyone and everything, all the energy and all the matter that makes up Mother Earth and all its inhabitants, all the energy and all the matter that makes up the sun and all its energies and frequencies. All the energy and matter that makes up our universe and all the other countless billions of universes which have their own planets and their own life and life forms. <laughs> and all of those are made up by the same creator. Think about that for a second. That's a lot of love. So that love is constantly radiating to each and every one of us. All the time. So then the question becomes, if love is so miraculous, why does my life suck? If love is so miraculous, why do I have mental disease? If love is so miraculous, why can I never find the right spouse? If love is so miraculous, why did my brother, who I love so much, die? If love is so miraculous, why did all these bad things happen? Love is unconditional. It gives all the time. I ask heaven, I says, why is it that if the giving is 100% all the time <clears throat> and it radiates from everything, no matter what it is, why is it that I can't feel it all the time? Why is it that most everybody can't feel it all the time? And they showed me an image in my third eye of a monk sitting on the mountain. And they said, why do you think a monk meditates? He is aligning his Shen Qi Jing, his soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter, to align with the source love. So the source love constantly radiates itself to us. We are not 
in a place where we are able to receive it, our receptors are not positioned to receive. Oh, that's why. Very important to understand. And we blame God. You know, you took my husband. You took my child. You took my best friend. They died. Why did you do that? I hate you. Raise our fists at God whenever something doesn't work out for us. But you know, our source creator gives us love unconditionally. Even more blasting of love when we hate, when we anger, when we shake our fists. The amount of love towards us increases dramatically. Because our Creator wants for us to not be in that place of pain. Why are we in a place of pain sometimes in our lives? Other times we're not. It is our hearts closed. We are not open to receive. Everyone and everything is made up of Shen, Qi, and Jing. Soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. The first being soul. Soul is from Creator. Creator created all souls, right? Everything has soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. Everything has consciousness of Creator, emanation of Creator. You are radiating love 100% of the time. How do I know that? Because that's what the message was, that everyone and everything is radiating love. How is that possible? How could I be radiating love? I don't feel very loving. I feel very unlovable sometimes. How could I be radiating love 100% of the time? Well, first of all, we're not talking about your consciousness. We're not talking about what you're able to comprehend with your five basic senses. Because you're only able to comprehend with your own self-worth issues or your own love uh, uh, parameters, what you're able to give, what you're able to receive, it's hard for us to comprehend at the levels that we operate at that we, just as everything else in life, is literally radiating love 100% of the time. How could we not be? Think about it that way. We are specks of Creator just like everything else. We're a condensed speck of Creator that happens to have uh, a, an agenda that may be different from a dog or a cat or different from uh, an angel or, or a saint. But all of us come from same source Creator. So we are obviously radiating love 100% of the time. No different than a dog or a cat or a horse or an elephant. No different than a desk or a chair because everything is radiating love 100% of the time. Everything. All the stars, planets, galaxies, universes. So hard to believe. So hard to wrap your head around, right? How can that possibly be? I can consciously understand it, but it certainly doesn't feel that way. Or sometimes I can't even understand it. How can I possibly wrap my mind around that? Well, first, let go of the mind. <laughs> the mind is not your friend. The mind is the ne nemesis for almost all of us. It screws with us. It drags us down in heavy emotions. It causes us to contemplate and worry about stuff. A mind is not, not your, your best friend. And mind needs to be the tool of the heart. The heart is operated by the soul. Soul, heart, and then mind. The mind's purpose is to direct the energy and matter. But it has a leader. The leader is the heart. And the heart has a leader. The leader is the soul. The soul has a leader. The leader is source. Source leads the soul. Soul leads the heart. Heart leads the mind, which then directs the energy and matter. So how then do we open ourselves to recognize the miracle of love in literally every part of our life it surrounds us all the time everything is radiating love we must become more of a sponge how how do we do that there are many different teachers before that have brought wisdom the bible has great wisdom best read by yourself Many of the teachers out there that teach, teach on their own skewed perspective. Sometimes it can come across as very good. And if it has served you, kept your heart open, not caused separation, criticism, not caused a lack of self-worth. If somebody's teachings from the Bible has served you well and you feel more open-hearted, more uh more inclusive of everyone, no judgment, no criticism, 
then you have a good teacher of that subject. But many of the teachings out there create separation by twisting the words. No different with Quran or any of the Buddhist teachings. Best to read these things on our own to receive the purity of the messages, not have them twisted in a way where we can be judgmental or critical towards others. Because the greatest love is the love that has no judgment, no criticism. The greatest love is unconditional love. So that is one thing that we can do to open our heart, as we can pay attention to the sources of input of the spiritual wisdom that is important to us. Is the teachers of that input of wisdom there to serve unconditionally? Have no agenda. They're not there to create separation, put you lower. Source does not put you lower. You are equal. You are equal across the board. All souls are equal because the love is distributed equally. Why can't we adopt that towards others? It's very difficult. But we must do our parts. Also, <clears throat> pay attention. Pay attention throughout the day. If the heart is the receptor of love, which it is, and I'm not talking about the physical heart. I'm talking about your heart, your heart center, your love center. It is the receptor and the radiator. How does love from source radiate through us to others, create miracles? Do you realize that your smile can save somebody's life? It probably has, and you, you don't even know it. There are people that contemplate suicide, and a smile could be their answer. They could have asked God 10 seconds earlier, I need a sign or I'm going to take my life. And you happen to walk by, and you give them a gorgeous radiating smile. And they say, thank you, God. I'm not going to take my life. Thank you for that message. God, source, creator, whatever name you have, Allah, okay, comes to all of us at all times. But the presence of source in our lives is inhibited by our lack of open heart. An open heart allows us to not only receive but it allows us to be a giver. And that is more important than the receiving. Because when we are able to give unconditional love, there is a natural opening that allows us to receive. Giving of unconditional love is very different than giving unconditionally. Giving unconditionally is a physical action. Giving unconditionally is, in some cases, has snippets of of, of, of guilt associated with it. If I give unconditionally, maybe God will love me. Sometimes people think this way. If I give, maybe I'll do enough to offset my low self-esteem. People don't think that way, but that kind of process could be happening in the background. Giving is very good. Giving unconditionally is very good, but it's very different. Understand, it's very different than uh, the natural radiation of unconditional love. The natural radiation occurs on a natural basis without any action on our behalf to, to put it out. We don't have to uh, con be conscious about it for a natural radiation of love to occur. It occurs naturally because we open our heart center. That's what does. A few weeks ago, maybe just last week, I taught a live stream, and it was about... Uh, you know, watching the ways, uh, watching all the things in our life that can close our hearts. You know, the news, so negative, just, it, it doesn't matter what TV station, what newspaper, or what internet news it is. I mean, it's almost impossible to find anything positive. Is that helping you to keep your heart open? Is that assisting you to radiate? The miracle of love is that it can change your life and other people's life. Think of a baby, right? How can you not smile when you think of a newborn infant toddler, right? They have that precious smile, all of them do. Precious smile, big happy eyes that seem to have stars in them. They just, just light up. It's virtually impossible to not feel the love radiating from a child. Well, what was the statement at the beginning? What was the statement that heaven told me? 
everything, 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 no matter what it is, radiates love. It's pretty easy to validate that in a child, a newborn infant, okay? Very easy to, um, to see that. You, as an adult, your children, and all of the people around you, your coworkers, the boss, everyone that you love, everyone that you don't love so much, they are all literally radiating love 100% of the time. We <clears throat> are measuring them through our five senses. Jesus, Buddha, all the great teachers of all times teach to give and receive love unconditionally. Turn the other cheek, Jesus says. What is another way of looking at that? See the love in other people's heart, regardless of what comes out of their mouth, regardless of their thoughts, words, or actions. Turn the other cheek. Why are those great beings before us great beings? <clears throat> they are great beings because they practiced being an unconditional loving vessel. They kept their hearts open. They did not allow negativity into their world. Last week's teaching, control the negative inputs. Do not allow negative people or inputs, input meaning various news is whatever, to enter your energetic field. We are radiating love all the time, every single one of us. But the percentage of radiation that can be distributed from you and the percentage of radiation that can be felt by yourself or anybody else is inhibited by the purity of their own field. The purity of their field is dependent upon how open the heart is. An open heart is a receptive heart. An open heart as a heart that does not judge, does not criticize, does not look as inferior or uh, more than or less than, does not put oneself on a pedestal over another by putting oneself down. An uh, open heart does not uh, pay attention to color or shape or size or religion or doctrine. They do not pay attention to political affiliation. An open heart does not pay attention to anything. An open heart focuses on exactly that, being open. So how do we do that? We do that through multiple sources physical world application, spiritual world application. We need to do both. <clears throat> In the physical world, there are our internal circumstances, there are external circumstances. And the thing that controls both of those is the way we deal with things at the level of spirituality. When we take the time, preferably every day, maybe even twice a day, to center, to align, to bring our heart into love, peace, and harmony, to chant, to pray, to do whatever it is we need to do to keep our heart pure. When we take the time, in Master Shah's um, uh, terminology, he would say, trace calligraphy, sing love, peace, and harmony. If you prefer Bible, great. Pick up the Bible, read. You prefer Quran or, or Buddhist scripture, great. Pick them up, read. Whatever you need to do to align and center once or twice a day. This precedes and should continually precede what's happening in our external world. Because for many of us, it's the other way around. The external world controls us. Somebody yells at us, boss, coworker, kids husband, wife, and that closes our heart. Hard to maintain unconditional love, being a person that can uh, deal with the miracle of love when we are in an unpleasant place. The miracle of love reveals itself naturally. How does it reveal itself? Less physical pain, less suffering. Less suffering of what? Well, less suffering of financial blockages. Well, how does love make my suffering of financial blockages less? 
How does love make my suffering of the relationship that I'm in go away? I, I, how can I find love when I'm in the middle of a relationship suffering, right? So we're so stuck in these five sense experiences, we fail to realize love's miracle. How do we do it? We start at spirituality levels. We start by ensuring that we spend time making sure our heart is open. Why do we start there? <clears throat> Why do we practice this to open our heart like I've done how many times on these live streams? Why do we do practices of tracing calligraphy or chanting love, peace, and harmony? <clears throat> how is that possibly going to help me? Well, when your heart is open and someone comes at you from left field with an unpleasant response, unpleasant statement, an unpleasant jab, our children come in the room screaming, our husband comes home from work angry, our heart is open. We are able to respond and react in a much more loving, compassionate way. Therefore, we are not jerked down and out of our space. When we approach life in reverse, where we uh, have a problem because the boss is this, the money is that, the relationship is this, and, blah, 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 blah. and then we go and try to meditate to fix it, that's like putting a band-aid over a deep cut. It's not going to heal the deep cut. It's just going to barely cover it. When you make opening your heart the priority, the love that radiates from you and everything is automatic. When you make your heart the priority, you radiate love automatically. That love radiation, when the husband comes home screaming, yelling, kicking, and angry, and you give them love, melts that blockage very, very quickly. When the children are fighting with each other, give them love. Pick them up. I love you both. Send them love. They'll go back. Fine. Love melts that blockage. It's the miracle of love. When you go to work and the co-worker or the boss, they're not pleasant people. You radiate love to them. Ask forgiveness, of course, but radiate love. Every day, just keep radiating love. They'll think maybe you're a little crazy. In Thai, they say ting tong, right? They maybe think you're a little ting tong. But you just radiate love. Love melts all blockages. One day, the, the boss will come to you and they say, uh, you know, I want to, uh, I want to uh, uh, tell you you're doing a good job. They could have been saying unpleasant things before. All of a sudden, they, they can't figure out why they like you now, why, why they're even saying something positive. You know, good job. And then they pat you on the back and they walk away because it's very uncomfortable for them to say something nice. Why? Because love melted that blockage. Love is miraculous and it radiates through all of us all the time. We must be responsible for the internal and the external. And if we're responsible for the internal first, it's dramatically easier to handle the external we take care of ourselves internally first you have to set aside time to purify your heart so let's do so there are many <clears throat> many practices for opening the heart I have taught quite a few want to teach one that is very reproducible something that it's easy to remember that you can do anytime, anywhere. Of course, love, peace, and harmony is one of the best that you can do. Just turn on the Love, Peace, Harmony app on your phone. Hit the play button. Close your eyes and go into a meditative place. Most importantly, find a specific time every day where you commit. Even if it's just 10 minutes. Oh, I'm so busy. I don't have time. I get it. I'm there. 10 minutes give yourself 10 minutes every day if you can you will notice a difference so let's do a practice now sit up straight back away from the back of the chair feet flat on the floor <coughs> our hands will be in soul light soul service hand position So it's like a prayer position, the left hand drops in front of the heart center, the right hand remains pointed towards heaven. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to offer love. Oh, that's it? That, that's all we're going to do? Yes, that's all we're going to do. 
because there is a spiritual law that when you offer love you receive it 100 1000 fold it depends on how much you offer the purity of your offering depends on the percentage that comes back to you well why does it come back because it's a universal law what you give is what returns so when you give love unconditionally that is what comes back to you and that's what we're going to do we're going to open our heart by giving love very very simple something that you can do every single day well who do I give love to well who do you want to give love to you can focus just in this physical plane oh, I want to give love to my children okay good very good I want to give love to my grandma and my grandpa great beautiful let's give them love too but what about your source do you ever stop and give love to your source or do you pretty much just ask for help when you give love to your source when you give love to the beings of light who serve us the amount of love that could return is significant the miracle of love is that what you give comes back to you we are all literally radiating 100 percent of the time but because of our blockages in our heart we might only be literally radiating 10 or 50 percent of our potential when you open your heart and just give love the miracle of love comes back to you and allows you to do more then you move to 21 percent 23 percent 25 percent and then something from left field comes at you and it tries to knock you off your base and you turn your heart of love to that condition that came to you and you give it love and it melts away because love melts all blockages and you proceed to 26 27 percent and so forth keep your heart open by giving love every day let us do so we first connect <clears throat> if comfortable repeat after me dear my beloved soul i love you honor you deeply respect and appreciate you could you please bless me to further develop my love bless me to learn how to and offer the radiation of love 100 percent dear my beloved divine creator i love you i love you i love you i thank you from my heart for everything you have done for me today i will offer my love to you today i will open my heart as much as possible to you please bless me that i can open my heart more and more every day so that i can melt the blockages in my life and assist others in melting the blockages in their lives <clears throat> please bless me to see the miracle of love in every way possible dear all the beings of light and love all of those serving the plan of light and love in all universes i love you could you please come please shower your love upon my message center my love center bless me to further open and develop my center i promise to send you my love and gratitude in return thank you thank you thank you dear the soul of blood mother earth the sun and the moon the soul of the air the water the plant life the animals i want to send you my greatest love and gratitude for all that you do for me thank you so now <clears throat> with our hands in the soul light soul service prayer position left hand in front of the heart center right hand gently pointed towards heaven like a prayer position let us offer our love first to our beloved divine creator <clears throat> we will sing a i love you song you can chant along with it i love you send your love to your creator i love you i love you i love you. I love I love you. 
I love you. I love you. Follow along with your greatest love to your Creator. I love you. 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 And now send your love to your soul. Your soul is directly beneath your creator. Your soul is a spark of your creator. Your soul has given you all the insights. Your soul has brought all of the beautiful things in your life to you. Give your love to your soul. Your soul will shower love back upon you. I love 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 you. In your heart allow even more love let us offer our love to the beings of light that have served your life all of those that you silently requested in prayer let us give them love I love you I love One of the greatest unconditional love examples is Mother Earth. She allows you to receive her breath, her life stream of water, the food on her surface. With unconditionalness, she gives everything to us so that we can live. Let us offer her our love. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I I love you. 
Let us offer our gratitude to the sun and the moon. They give us the night and the day to balance our yin and yang, male and female nature. The sun gives us the heat that feeds and nourishes all life, allows us to be alive. The moon gives us yin, nurturing energy. Balance the feminine nature. Let us offer our gratitude. I love you. 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 Feel the love. All of these souls are pouring their love back to you. Creator, all the beings of light are pouring their love, opening your heart more. All of the souls, the sun, the moon, Mother Earth, so grateful to receive your love. They are blessing you back 100-fold, 1,000-fold. Open your heart to receive. Give. Let us offer our greatest love to our parents, our grandparents, our brothers and sisters, and our children. Visualize all of them in a circle, all of them happy and smiling. <clears throat> Let us send our greatest love to our family. I love you. 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 And now visualize yourself your three-year-old, your five-year-old self, your six, seven, and eight-year-old self. See your self, three, four, five, six, and seven years old. See yourself as a nine and ten-year-old. See the clothes you are wearing. See where you are at. See yourself as a pre-teenager. 10, 11, 12, 13. Were you wearing braces, glasses? See yourself in your high school years. All of these years from your birth to 18, all in one beautiful golden bubble, see all 18 of yourselves in that bubble. Let us love ourselves unconditionally with the greatest love i love you i love you i love you i love you. 
love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. One more time, looking at all 18 years of yourself. We will chant, I love me, loving yourself, hugging yourself, releasing 18 years of any lacks of self-love. Open your heart to love yourself. I love me. I love I love me. I love me. I love me. I love. I love me. I love me. Now give all of yourself, all the years, a big loving hug. Big hug. And check in with yourself. How are you feeling? Notice if you're warm. Notice if your heart is much more open. Notice the smile on your face. You may even feel pain in your heart. That's a very good sign. That means your message center is opening even more. Please share how was this experience for you. When we, and I will talk a little bit, please share. When we give love to source, if that's all you did every day, what kind of power does source have? Source creates everything. You give your love, your unconditional love to source. Do you think you would not have massive benefits? People say, how do I keep my heart open? There you go. The simplest way. I encourage all of you to do this each and every day. More and more. Ten minutes every day. You can go loving different things. You can eventually go to loving those things that are troublesome in your life. Your finances. I love you. If you send love to your finances, you watch what happens. You'll melt those blockages. Relationship problems. Send love to the relationship. Send love to the other. It will open your heart. You'll be able to hear more clearly, not take things so personally. When we are able to open our heart, the things that come to us will not be challenging. They'll be over through love. Love is miraculous. The miracle of love is that it can melt all blockages. We simply need to realize that we are the ones in the way of both allowing it and in giving it. If we can get ourselves out of our own way, we can make a substantial difference in our life and in other people's lives. So I look forward to reading your comments. I see a few amazings. That's wonderful. And welcome also to Eileen. Welcome Gary. Welcome Inge. Welcome Yvonne. Welcome Eva Karif. Welcome Wagner. Welcome Tina. Welcome Jim. Aloha. Marie Crispy. Welcome Jessica. Danta. Welcome Ilona. Welcome Angela. Welcome Susan. 
and loveness. Thank you to everyone. Dan says, you help me to open my heart while <laughs> blowing my mind. <laughs> That's funny, Dan. <laughs> you help me to open my heart while blowing my mind. <laughs> It's that simple. You know, Master Shah offered the same teachings this morning in his own beautiful way. So I encourage you to watch his love meditations on Dr. Master Shah Facebook page. <clears throat> so for those that came in late, highly recommend you uh, go back to the meditation aspect of this. The information and the wisdom insights are very important because they build the foundation for why we do the practice and why you should continue doing the practice, then doing the practice itself can be very, very um, lethargic, or can be very um, cathartic. Cathartic is the word, uh, which, is, you know, it's a huge healing. Wagner says she can't stop crying. Beautiful, because her heart's very open, that's why. So this is a very, very, very big secret. Raise your hand if you have any form of suffering in your life, right? 99% of your hands are probably going to go up. How do you stop the suffering? Open your heart. Let love stop it for you. The miracle of love is that it can fix anything. We just got to stop the monkey mind. Make sure it's not in control. Go above it to the heart. Go above it to the soul, to creator. Open our heart. Give our love. Receive. That will start shifting your external environment. Start on the inside. It's an inside job, right? And then it will naturally dissolve all those things outside of us. That is the miracle of love. Johnny says, Beloved Master Paul, this was truly a powerful practice. I was in tears through the entire practice. I saw light showered on all souls practicing. Yeah, it was huge. My crown chakra was very lit up. And my back behind my message center, very, very warm. Wagner says, too much pain in my heart with myself, but at the same time, she can't stop uh, living myself. Really, really love Master Paul. Thank you. <clears throat> she really can't, really can't, uh, loving, can't stop loving herself. Yeah. I tell you, some of you may have had problems loving yourself. At the end, I was guided to bring in your one, two, three year old, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all of yourselves into that final meditation. How many of you was able to easily do that? That means you probably have very few self-love issues. If you had difficulty visualizing all of your, your uh, ages, do it again. Send all of them love. They all have various levels of blockages, experiences that may have closed the heart. It's a very, very important practice. Okay. So I want to give you all my love. Thank you from my heart for all that you do. Uh, just being here is huge. Every time you open your heart, it positively affects humanity. You do this practice, it will positively affect humanity. Okay? We're all going to do our part. So let us offer our gratitude. We thank the divine, the Tao, the source, creator, all the beings of light, Mother Earth, the sun, and the moon. We thank our own soul and all of those that came to offer their service here today countless bow downs thank you thank you thank you to all of you as well make sure that you share this uh teaching there are, i'm sure there are many that would be grateful to receive it love you love you love you i will see you on thursday 9 a.m three hours earlier than today and we'll see what heaven wants me to share at that time bye bye everybody